ಸುಗಧ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾದೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾಕಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವದೀ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾದೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ I welcome you all with my love and respects. We'll start this small story. Once a man, poor farmer, is so poor, he don't have even half an acre, his own land. He used to work for somebody else whatever wages he is getting he used to eat one day he thought when he was resting if god gives me my own land at least half an acre i'll be able to work on my own and whatever comes out of that land i'll eat i will have it for my life it will be a great help if god gives me half an acre of land so he started praying intensely as you know god is so gracious immediately vishnu appeared oh my son what do you want to ask the man asked yes oh god give me at least little bit of land so that i can work for myself and earn my food i don't have to depend on somebody god said all right tomorrow morning when the sun rises you come to this place tomorrow morning from sunrise to sunset whatever area you cra- you walk and cross all those area will be yours don't worry why half an acre or a little bit whatever you want how much you walk how much you cross everything belongs to you if god would have given immediately half an acre there would have been no problem <laughs> he gave little time for him to think he said tomorrow morning you come at the time of sunrise until tomorrow evening sunset how much land you walk and cross it belongs to you then vishnu disappeared imagine he would have slept that night no first he thought at least 10 acre land i should walk and cover it then he thought why 10 acre if i can have little more after all how much i walk that much is going to be my land if i cover little more even my sons can have if i cover little more i can have a small farm house by the time next day morning he is filled with greed he has decided he will try his best to walk or run and cover as much as possible he started he he brought his food so that he will not be he, he, do, he doesn't have to go for food so he has packed his food and brought as soon as the sun raised god appeared and told all right now you can start walking he started walking walking after half an hour speed picked up went on went on went on around noon 12 o'clock he felt totally tired and exhausted food is there but his mind says no 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 if you walk little more you can have food afterwards anyhow tomorrow onwards we are going to have food every day why to have food today and disturb the waste the time so he is not ready to eat he started walking continuously 
Around 3 o'clock, body started begging, at least I have a glass of water. He is not ready to stop even for a glass of water. No, I should run. I should run. Even if I stop for a glass of water, I will miss 10 acres of land. Because at 5 minutes, he will not be able to cover for 10 acres. Anyhow, he started running, running, running. Around 5 o'clock in the evening, almost he is exhausted. And his mind says, I may fall, I may faint. Please have a little water or a little food. But the greed says, no, no, no. Let me put all my effort and get as much as possible. Running again, he continued. Running, 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 running. Around 6 o'clock, just 10 minutes before the sunset, totally exhausted, he has fallen. But even then, he is not ready to take the water or the food. He started crawling. <laughs> then finally he forced himself, collected all the energy, got up, started running, running, running. With his last breath, with full effort, running, 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 running. The sun was about to set. Even then he is not ready to stop for a sip of water or for a little bit of food. He has already saw, he has ran more than 10 villages. Now 10 villages belongs to him. But he doesn't want to stop. The mind is not ready to stop. It said, no, 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 one more village. We will have a kingdom of our own. He, he started running. At the end, he saw a river. Now this side of the river belongs to me. If I somehow cross the river, that side, that side also will become mine. Let me run. He ran, ran, ran. By the time he reached the, that side of the river, the sun is set. Sunset has happened. When the sun set, the time, by the time he has reached the, that side of the river, he just fell totally exhausted. Totally tired, totally energyless. He decided, yes, now the sun has set, let me rest. He just fell, beauty fell and died. He just fell and died. It's a small story from a teachings of a mystic, a great mystic who lived in Maharashtra called Jnaneshwar. He has written a great work, great commentary on Gita called Jnaneshwari. He lived only 16 years. This story has got a significance. It has got a meaning. If you see superficially, you may find the man is a fool. That man wanted only half an acre. Finally, his greed has led him. Not only the greed has made him to run, run, run. Finally, the greed has eaten him. He has died. If you see superficially, you think he is fool. If you look a little deep, then you will understand. In each one of you, the man is existing. The same man who has been eaten by the greed, who has died by running, is existing in every one of us. If you turn little bit in, then you will be able to understand in every one of us. In the starting, when you started your life, what was your ideal? What was your goal? Look. If we fix up a goal of one million dollar, by the time we reach half a million dollar, the goal has become 10 million dollar. By the time you reach 5 million dollar, the goal has already become 1 crore or something more than that. 
So the mind just continuously keeps on postponing. <coughs> continuously makes you run, makes you constantly run, 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 run. Never lets you relax. Never lets you enjoy. Never lets you have the bliss of what you have got. It just makes you as much as possible only to run. Why? Why mind never lets you rest? Why mind never lets you relax? Because whenever you relax, whenever you enjoy, whenever you start living the life, mind has to die. Mind cannot be alive without the tension. The very food for the mind, very root of the mind is the tension and postponing. Tension and the postponing is the very root or very food for the mind. Mind can be alive, your thoughts can be alive only when you postpone your goals. There are two words you need to understand, doing and being. Your being cannot exist if you stop doing. Your being can exist as a mind. Your mind can exist only by doing, only by postponing. From the young age, you can see your life. When you are in a college, you think, if I get a good job, my life will be settled, I will be happy, then I will start enjoying my life. In after when you get a job, you think if I get visa to America, then life will be settled, then I will have joy. Once you get the visa, if I get a green card, that will be grand, <laughs> then I can enjoy. You run, run, run. When you get a green card, somehow citizenship if it comes till that I have to, till that time I have to be careful. So once the citizenship comes, then you think, if I am married, if I get married, that will be nice. So you start running. Once you are married, you think, I should have issues, kids. Then life will be great. Once you get the issues, you think, once they start, once they are settled, then life will be really grand. Once they are settled, when you are really retired, there is nothing else to do but only to enjoy. Then your mind has reached such a part, you cannot relax. You forget the language of relaxing or enjoying. Then it becomes just restless. It, st it starts running behind something. It starts running behind the past. You become weight on your own life. You become just a dead weight for your own life. You never enjoy your being. You continuously postpone, 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 postpone. Everything you just postpone. For everything you have a reason. You have reason. You say, no, 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 no. Let that happen. Then only I will be joyful. Till that happens, I don't think I will be settled. Till this happens, I don't think I am settled. I have to settle only when that happens. You are almost like an uprooted plant. Continuously you feel you are uprooted. At no situation you feel you are homely. You can relax. In every situation you feel you have to run somewhere. You have to run, you have to run, you have to run. You are continuously on your running race. The worst problem in the rat race is even if you win, you are a rat. <laughs> I always tell this. Even if you win, you are nothing but a rat. You just postpone, postpone, postpone. But I tell you, when you really start living, when you really start penetrating into your being, only then your doing will have a clear direction. Only then you will, your doing 
will have a clear purpose only then you will have a real creativity till the moment you feel settled whatever you may do all your doings will be only half half will not bring your creativity totally out why because you have two energies one is creating one is planning another one is worrying i always tell the chronological tomorrow psychological tomorrow chronological tomorrow means you plan what to do for tomorrow what i should do for after one month what i should do for after two month what i should do for after three months how i should be after one year planning chronologically planning for the life chronological tomorrow is perfectly all right chronological tomorrow is called creativity it is nothing wrong but there is one more thing psychological tomorrow continuously worrying whether it will happen or not what way that will happen what way this is going to happen what way that is going to happen what will happen if it happens this way what will happen if it happens in that way creating your own worries creating your own imaginations there is a beautiful saying from one of the master who says 99% of your worries never come true whatever 1% comes true is always truth always good for you it is always good for you. but what we do we continuously create unnecessary thoughts we start building up unnecessary thinking unnecessary bothering about every incident i have seen many people before entering the vehicle at least one thought they will have will, will, will i meet with an accident will i have before entering the flight they will have one thought will flight land properly <laughs> will i come back properly for everything you have something negative in every step for every step before entering into every decision you have something negative you have something which push pulls you back which stops your growth that is what i call it as a psychological tomorrow continuously worrying bothering or getting disturbed about the tomorrow when you are already worrying if somebody says even a small word it totally induces you induces your psychological system because already you are just waiting to be injured i tell you nobody can disturb you unless you allow that to happen